Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another Buy Request song tutorial. Today, I'm very excited to break down the Chris Isaac version of the Roy Orbison classic, Only the Lonely. I'm gonna go through each of the chord progressions, the strumming pattern, and also the lead guitar part. I got all the tabs and chords available for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, where you can find a range of other resources to help you with your study. Just click through the link in the description. All right, now, let's get started with your lesson. One, two, three, four. my heart they're gone forever and so far apart but only the lonely knows why I cried and cried for you Maybe tomorrow A new romance And no more sorrow But that's the chance You've gotta take If you're lonely I bring Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with my approach to Only the Lonely. This is the Chris Isaac version, but the song is originally written by Roy Orbison. We're in standard tuning, and we're in the key of C major. We're going to get started with the intro section. I'm going to show you the rhythm first, then I'll break down the lead guitar part. So in the rhythm, we start off with the C major chord for two measures. Then we'll have a D minor chord for two measures. Then we're gonna to go to an F major chord for just a measure. And then a G. Okay. All right, then we're gonna to go to C for a measure, G for a measure, C for a measure, then ring out that C major chord. So, break that progression up into two parts to make it more uh, easy to remember. Uh, C, D minor, F, C for two measures, D minor for two measures, F for one measure. Then the second half, G, C, G, C. All right, then ring out on the C. Now that you have the chord progression down, let's see if you can apply this very cool rhythm to the C major chord. Actually, you're gonna use this rhythm all the way throughout the song. Sounds like this. Okay, so that was the root on the A string. A nice uh, slow drag downstroke, and then an upstroke, downstroke, upstroke, and downstroke. Root and down, up, down, up, down, up. Root and down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's got kind of an exotic kind of feel to it. Okay, you need to do that twice on the C major chord because the duration of that strumming pattern is one measure.
All right, then do the same thing to the D minor, except you put the root on the D string rather than the A string, because it's a, a D chord, the root is rooted off of the D string. This is very good for building up your picking accuracy. All right, then the F major chord comes in, you can bar this one, you grab that low E string, okay, or you could do a little F. I prefer the bar version. All right, you only do that one measure, so just one time of that strumming pattern. Same thing over the G chord. Okay, so far we have C. C. D minor. F. G. All right, now C, G, C. then you let it ring out when you come into the verse. Okay, let's put that whole thing together now, starting from the beginning of the intro with the C major chord for two measures. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. D minor. F major. G. Alright, now you're ready to move on to the lead guitar part for that intro. Okay, jumping into the lead guitar part for our intro, and this also doubles as the solo later on in the song. We're going to take this uh, section by section, chord by chord. He's a different lick for each of the chords in the progression of the intro. So over the C major chord, we have this lick coming in on beat number two, kind of ushering in the song. One. Just like that. Real slow now. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that was the first fret of the B string, a C note. Going up to a D note on the third fret. And then you're gonna slide away the fifth fret of that B string. And right here, the open G string comes in at the same time as the C chord coming in on the rhythm. You're gonna play open G. 2nd fret D string, and then G, G. Alright, and that's what you have for the C major chord. Very cool. Following up that C major chord, the D minor chord comes in. He's got a very nice little lick over the D minor that sounds like this. Real slow. Just kind of breaking apart, arpeggiating that D minor chord. So that lick started off the same way as lick number one. First fret, third fret, fifth fret sliding. Then fret your D minor chord shape up. That's the second fret of the G string, third fret of the B string, and first fret of the high E string. And you're gonna play the G string, the D string, the B string, and then the high E string. Just like that. You put all that together, we have. All right, and that sounds great over that rhythm. Okay, our next phrase is gonna usher in the F major chord. It's a little tricky, so I'll break this up into parts. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. A little bit slower. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so that was B string third fret, five, six with a slide away, to the first fret, B string. Okay, that's your first part. Okay, then there's just a little bit of picking around this F major chord. It's actually an F slash C shape. So in order to get this next part, you really have to be able to play this chord. So your ring finger is on the A string third fret, pinkies beneath that on the D string. Then we have our middle finger on the G string, and your pointer finger is barring across the uh, B string first fret and the high E string first fret, though you're only gonna need that B string. All right, for a long time I just called this kind of the, the, the Hendrix F chord. 
All right, but it's a very useful shape. You'll see John Fashante using this a lot as well. Once you get past this part, your thumb's gonna wrap around and grab the F note. Then you make that chord shape. Grab the D string. Then you're going to play the D string and the G string together using your thumb and your middle finger. See my right hand there, the uh, hybrid uh, picking technique? All right, so, so far we have thumb, the pinky on the D string, then the D and the G string together. All right, after that we have the open G and B. All right, these two fingers can come off. Then you're gonna play the G string and the B string with those two fingers down. All right, after that, you're ready to get into the G part. Okay, so so far we have bringing in the C major chord for our intro. One, two, three, four. Then the D minor. Then the F major. Now we're ready to move into this next part, going G major to C. Okay, so that was G, it's a low E string, third fret, and you're playing that with your open B string, maybe your G string. Then the open D string, then the D string and B string together. So. All right, then we're gonna move into a little shape here, second fret D, first fret B, Three and three on those same strings. Play that again. And then go back to that second fret D string and first fret B string uh, as the C major chord comes in on your rhythm. As you can see, that's just a part of the C chord. So that's really how lead lines work, just taking little tiny pieces of the chord in many cases. So going again from that G to C. Just like that. Okay, and up next we have the C chord go into the G chord. Here we're just gonna break apart the C chord real nice. And then do a little slide. So that was the A string, the D string, the G string, the high E string with the finger, then the pick hits the first fret B string, then take that same note and slide it up a whole step to the D note. It's so going C to D. All right, then finally we have one more phrase very similar to what we did before going from G to C. That's the low E string third fret and the open B string. Then the D and the B. Then that second fret D string, first fret B string. All right, then three and three, twice, and then back to second fret D, first fret B as the C major chord rings out in the rhythm. That entire intro part, one, two, three, four, one. The D minor. Here comes the F. G. C. for your full intro part. Okay, fantastic. You have the intro section down. Uh, that lead line is probably more suited to intermediate and advanced level players. So if you're just trying to get an easy strummer song down, I suggest you move right into the verse. This verse section, we're gonna have the C major chord for three measures, the D minor chord for two measures, the G for two measures, the F major chord for one measure, and the C major chord for two measures, okay? But the second measure is going to be a nice ring out. Okay, so that C major chord for 12 beats or three measures, that means we need to play that strumming pattern three times. Then twice over D minor. Twice over G. over F, 
and then once over C, and then just strum once for that last measure. There goes my baby, as he comes in with his chorus. Okay, so if you think you have those chords down and that strumming pattern, let's see if you can play through that verse with me. One, two, three, four, one, two. Only the lonely know the way I feel tonight. Only the lonely know this feeling ain't right. Let it ring out. Now you're ready to move on to the chorus. Okay, now moving into the chorus section. To teach you this part, I'm going to demonstrate and discuss what I'm doing as I go. So this will begin with a C major chord. There goes my baby. Four nice strums, then we're going to put our hands over the strings to shorten it up. All right, next, there goes my heart, the C7 chord comes in. Just add your pinky to the third fret of the G string. Same exact strumming technique. So there goes my baby, C, 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 C. There goes my heart. All right, next, there gone, F major chord. Same exact technique, so far apart. All right, that last one was D7 three times. And then a short G major chord, just like that. But only the, the C major chord comes back with our original strumming pattern, lonely. Knows why, the F major chord, one measure there, so one round of the strumming pattern. All right, then the G major chord comes in, I cry. That included a little riff. So I hit the root of the G chord, a down and an up stroke, then I play open D, second fret, third fret, open D, and then as that's ringing out, I go back to strumming the G chord. All right, so we have down, up, down, up, down, up. Again, coming out of that C chord, but only the C. Riff. Down, up, down, up, down, up, only the lonely. Then the G chord, only the lonely. All right, so one measure of that C chord, then the intro reprise. That starts off with C major as well. So remember the intro, the C major chord for two measures. The D minor chord, the same lead line. The F chord, the G, the C, the G, and the C. Then you ring it out. Now it's time for verse number two. It's the same thing as verse number one. You actually have everything you need to perform the song now. Only the lonely know the heartaches. I've been D minor. Only the lonely, that came in on the G chord that time. F, cried and cried for you. Let it ring, now we're in chorus number two, same as chorus number one. Maybe tomorrow, C, 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 C. A new romance, C7. And no more sorrow. But that's the chance, D7, G. Ah, this part's a little different now. You got a take. Then the very end of the song. The F major chord comes in. If you're lonely, heartbreak. The riff. Only the lonely. The G. Only the lonely. I like the retardando. Only the C major chord resolves. Lonely. Congratulations, everyone. You're ready to perform. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Chris Isaac's version of Only the Lonely. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. I hope you're enjoying the extra resources. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.